it's time for the Democrat National Convention running all of this week and I have made a few notes for you on what you can expect if you choose to watch it. Obviously instead of being in front of a crowd of 50,000 screaming leftists it's now going to be in an empty conference room in Delaware which I guess will be about as exciting as a commercial for irritable bowel syndrome although at least with irritable bowels they have got a medical diagnosis unlike Joe of course. The left seem to think that because he can ride a bike that makes him suitable to be the leader of the free world. My friend's four-year-old can ride a bike but no one's suggesting he should be in control of monetary policy for the world's largest economy. Now that it's been moved, I think it's going to have, you know, all of the kind of animation of Nancy Pelosi's face. And that's been frozen in time for a very long time indeed now. When she cries, tears come out from behind her ears. But I think things will really get off to a flying start on Monday when we have Governors Cuomo and Whitmer, so New York and Michigan respectively. They're going to thrill the convention with how they've managed to lock down their people, bankrupt small businesses and undermine the police service. In fact, Cuomo's got some brilliant off the chart statistics to share as well with the crowds. 358% rise in gun violence week on week compared to last year. That's really going to be inspiring stuff. On Tuesday, the audience are fortunate to have AOC and she's being given all of the time she needs to summarise all the knowledge that she learned in school. So she's got a minute. Um, this partly actually is in punishment for the fact that she was a Bernie supporter and also because Joe is trying to appear moderate and therefore not trying to give oxygen to any of the extremists that actually he's going to front up for. AOC um, is kind of pissed that she only got 60 minutes. She's calling it God's minute, which I think is her kind of flattering herself. I don't think anybody who is pro-abortion has any business talking about God in anything that they do. But certainly um, she knows that she only has these 60 seconds. Her comms team know this is in fact the Instagram minute and she'll have been rehearsing these 60 seconds harder than I imagine Meghan Markle practiced stealing a prince from Britain. But the comrades, Rashida Taliban and Hil Ilhan, oh my goodness, I got married again, have not been invited. So I guess what they're trying to say here is that real Jew hatred can only take place after the convention, but not before it. Um, the old guard, of course, have been invited. Michael Obama will be there in thigh-high sparkly boots and a power wig talking about his menopause. And Obama will be there too, I'm mean, guessing in a sort of a, a casual suit and he will pause a lot, looking into the middle distance and making those pauses really count. We can look forward to that, I'm sure. I also look forward to seeing Hillary Clinton. She'll be there in a pantsuit, I'm pretty sure, uh, giving us a rendition of some of her favourite stories like how she won the popular vote and how she was the first female president. Um, I doubt that she's going to be talking about the Clinton body count that now stands at 34, although I'm reassured that number will be going up to 35 once they have Ghislaine um, Maxwell added to it with her future suicide. Uh, all presenters have been asked, now that this is streaming online, to film their contributions at exciting locations. I hear it from Newsom's people. Um, he's going to be filming in California in front of a steaming pile of human excrement on the streets of LA with some of the 150,000 people, homeless people in LA, stood behind him. They won't know where they are, won't have a clue what planet they're on, and many actually will be naked, which is kind of standard for LA, uh, but they'll be there to support him. Bloomberg is planning to do his um, on top of Mount Rushmore, his office confirms, because then he will finally feel tall. Um, and Clinton, Bill Clinton, is going to do it in the office with an intern. He, he has practised that before as she's going to be on her knees and he's going to be unzipped and he plans to give her a god's minute of his very own creation charming when biden speaks it's going to be to an empty conference hall in front of a 
and for a bitterly divided party. And you know, there is no humour in any of that. There is just disgust that people who love him are prepared to subject this man to this. But I think we can say as Trump supporters, we'll be watching on with that face that we reserve um, for, you know, watching less able people play sport or ugly people dating, sort of pity, but hidden with a smile. So roll up, roll up, ladies and gentlemen, for the Joe and the Ho convention, the sniff and blow convention from the 17th to the 20th of August.